Hello, my dear English language lovers. Welcome to the second part of the small talk phrase video. If you haven't watched the first part, I'll put the link down below in the description for this video. Small talk is ideal for social gatherings when you are surrounded by unfamiliar people. These phrases will literally save your life if you don't know what to say or even if you are a total introvert. In the previous video, we talked about how to start a conversation with strangers. In this video, we will go through phrases that could come in handy if you need to have a small talk with someone you already know. Phrase number one. Hey Chad, what's up? Hey Noah. What's up? What's new? This is a fairly appropriate phrase if you are interested in the news your friend might have. Well, long time no see, Liz. Long time no see, an ideal phrase that you can use with those people you haven't seen for a long period of time. Do you mind me asking? No, I don't mind. Do you mind me asking? Perfect choice when you are about to ask a slightly personal question. Have you been keeping busy? A standard question with little to no meaning, kind of similar to, how are you? Have you been keeping busy? Oh yes, indeed I have. The next set of chit chat questions can be used with people you don't know. Most of the questions are work or life related. Do you like learning English by using phrases? Watch snippets of your favorite movies, collect audio puzzles and learn grammar in the Puzzle English app. Thousands of hours of classes are waiting for you and you can try it absolutely for free. The link to the site in the description. Try it. So, what do you do with your time? What you do? A standard inquiry when you wonder about someone's occupation. What you do? Oh, I'm a teacher and you? I'm a blogger. Have you worked there long? A good follow-up question after your conversation partner stated the name of the company he or she works for. For example, have you worked there long? Yes, for over 15 years. The following examples of small talk will be about typical answers. Start with a traditional response you give to someone who shared the good news with you. Good for you. For example, I bought an apartment in Moscow last year. Good for you. Are you kidding me? Phrase number eight. Are you kidding me? It's a very common way of expressing surprise or disbelief. Next phrase. Can't argue with that. For example, the weather has been terrible this week. Can't argue with that. If you didn't hear or understand what the other person said, you can ask them again in a polite and friendly manner, like, sorry, I didn't catch that. For example, Anna just got promoted to general manager. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Well, my lovelies, that's all for today. If you haven't watched the first part yet, what are you waiting for? Follow our channel and don't miss the third part of small talk phrases. My name is Kat and I'll see you later. It's a party.